Hi everybody, welcome back to Mage Renaissance, episode 24, with me, Sid, on the Mage server. And uh, I'm on my own at the moment, because I've just updated, and we're still waiting for the pack to uh, update. So, even if anybody wanted to join me, they couldn't. Uh, what I have done, let me just turn that off, is I've now got the stairs, or the, the ramps, I suppose, will be a better thing, in up to here. I've not, obviously, broken through, and, uh, yeah... I'm happy enough with that. It is a little bit gawky in places, but you know, chisels and bits, what are you going to do? Um, now, I have got a plan just to brighten these corridors and places up a little bit. Um, so, these corridors here, all the way around, need a little bit of thing. I also just need to make sure that there's nothing blue. And I don't mind you. Where did you go? Where did you go? That one, I don't like. This one, I don't mind. Because, you know, they die easily. <laughs> but him, him, not so keen on, so we'll leave him alone. Uh, what did we have? Did we have any more? Any more for any more? I think well, there's something around the corner there, but knowing my luck, it'll be a rocket creeper. And there's a spider just died underground. You are you. Oh, you appear to have gone. Okay, fine, I'll live with that. So, I want to go and try some stuff out. We need to find some sheepses. Uh, I think there are a whole load of sheepses over this way, so that will be ideal. Yep. Now, we, we now no longer have dimension doors. Um, so, hopefully, we should find that the world... Is a little less laggy. Um, we have also just restarted the server, so this is not actually a very good example of a less laggy world, um, because the server is always a little bit less, a little bit more cooperative, I suppose would be the word, immediately after a reboot. So, um, yeah. Now, when we d destroyed the dimension doors, of course, we, we only lost the dimensions and the doors. We didn't lose the structures. So these exist in the world, which I don't mind. Uh, we can be a little bit of a the odd ruin to uh, to play with there. Um, what I would like, though, is some bloody sheep. I'll probably kill them all, met them all or something. That would just be the way my, my gluttony would have kind of on my, numb my way through the local sheep population until, until there were none left and I can't get any wool easily. Um, but I just need a, a lot of wool. And... Uh, Ideally, a lot of purple wool. So, we are going to hunt around for these sheepses. There should be, I mean, there's loads of chickens. I don't need feathers desperately at the moment, so we'll not, we'll not kill any, all of those. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we definitely need the sheepses. Uh, and the cowses are useful, but not as useful as the sheepses. Uh, the issue with the sheep around here is they tend to keep spawning in these biomes, uh, the t uh, tiger biomes, with all the wolves, and then the wolves eat them, which is a bit of a issue. There they are. Look at them, bloody wolves. Maybe I need. Oh, hello, uh, little deers. Ah, sheep are going to be an issue, aren't they? Mm hmm. They're going to be a problem. I'll leave the piggies. I've killed quite a few of those recently. I, I did kind of go on a, a bit of a homici uh, homicidal, yeah, sw uh, swinicidal, poor sinicidal, poor sinicidal, probably. Um, rampage and, and kill one or two too many, one or two too many uh, of the sh of the pigs in the area. Anyway, I need to find wool. We need to do that. We need to find sheep. I've got some purple dye on me. That will allow me to, of course, get purple uh, wool, which is what I want. Because, you know, me, purple. Enough said. Hello, sheep. Oh, hello, lots of sheep. Right. Now, the next question. Is there any... Can we... Can we get you down into... Oh, not on there. Let's... Hey, sheepy. I should have brought some wheat with me. Let me just make a little pit. 
Uh, and we'll try and push these guys in. Ah. 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 We have our first first customer. We'll uh, block that off. And we shall take you. Come on. Obviously, I brought some wheat with me. That would have made life a lot easier. No. No, no, no. Have I got a piece of wheat in my backpack? Of course not. That would be far too sensible. Okay, um, I, I need some wheat or something. Let's have a look. I've got a village nearby. Uh, we... Don't. That is a pain. Uh, I don't think I've got any bones on me. And unless I can find a... No, no, I don't want... No, sir. Not you. Hmm. Don't need terra crystals at all. It's a lot, a lot nicer caving without those uh, possessed things as well. Um, no, uh, it's not. You know what? There's usually whenever you don't want one, all you can hear is clunk, clunk, clunk. Let me have those while we're here. Just in case. You know. Right, I need to... Uh, hmm. If I can get a seed, I can plant it. But I could have done with a bone or something. That's going to help me. Um, and then maybe that will make... Luring. <laughs> Luring. My God, my voice is going. Uh, I am coming down with a bit of a cold at the moment, so... Yeah, that's a th that is a thing I'm a uh, that is happening. Oh, hello. Bit of a wolfsbane root, but I don't want tomato seeds. Uh, I just want wheat seeds. Come on. Right, I'm going to get myself a bit of wheat just to make this easier. If I can find a skeleton in the area, then so much the better. And uh, I'll be back here with you in a mo. All right, we got them. Um, I did also kill a few things. We got another one of those, so have a little bit of uh, knowledge. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing, so they say. A couple of purple sheep. Eh, we'll do all three purple. And then we'll use my monkly power to make them fruity. Uh, and we should be okay to... I thought I had another set of shears. Have I thrown that said set of shears? I can't see said set of shears. Okay, doesn't matter. Let them grow their... I'm going to grow the wool back. And uh, yeah, the world will be good and happy. So uh, I'll be back in a bit. All right, I've left the sheep for a moment. And we have come over this way. Now, this is not my intention. I... I I assumed because this altar was so close to my base and most of the other base things had been um, looted that this one would have been, but no, it appears not to have been. Let me just get rid of a little bit of junk. Uh, however, I'm fairly certain I've not been looting papers. So, ah, let me out, let me out, thank you. Yeah, I was just coming over this way, because I, I think we are going to definitely, definitely need a, um, a wool farm, wool production facility. There is, there are ways to make white wool, which of course is the, uh, the wonderful fluffy puffs, um, which is such an amazing word to say that you just want to say it repeatedly with a lot of fluffy... Oh, hello, there's another one of them there as well. Which has probably not been looted. So I just noticed a whole load of um, amber over this way. But at least one piece anyway. There we go. Oh, I had another piece. Which I must have walked past to get to where I, I was checking that out. There's some up there. So... Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to dedicate some time to doing some almost almost vanilla mechanic, I suppose. 
Um, I mean, when you consider, usually this is the kind of thing you would expect to find a lot of on a on a vanilla playthrough, and not so much on a modded playthrough. Because modded normally gives you a half a half a dozen other ways of of obtaining things like say wool. So yeah, I thought we'd come over this way. Hello, guys. Uh, and we come over to this direction because they, I thought there was there's some sheep over here too, which might be just a bit easier to get over to our our respective places. There's piggies. My God, it's windy outside. Um, so yeah, we'll. I think we're going to start off and we'll get a a small build in just to house the. Um, the sheepses and uh, and then we shall take it from there maybe so I'll be back in a bit all right I've uh, I've been doing a few bits and pieces so over on the other side I'm just kind of clearing out an area this is where we're going to have the sheep pen it's not gonna be huge gonna be long and he's gonna come out here because I think this is where we're going to actually put our farming area um, and well, we'll have, to, we'll have those just in case. No, nothing. All right. Well, apart from rare earths, I don't know whether I mentioned this one. I found this the other day, just floating on the ground. Uh, enchanted broom in this spot. If it belongs to you, it's here in this chest. <laughs> um, if it doesn't, yeah, no loss. Anyway, er, uh, yeah. So I have decided on a, a design for the farm we're going to keep it fairly simple fairly traditional it's going to have the oriental theme to it with the um with the roofing but we're going to use the um oriental chinese workshop mod um thatch blocks uh which i will show you in a moment i i've taken out the magical cross because they were not growing in here at all um and i don't know whether there's a bug with that mod or what i've also added a third layer a uh, second area of this farm with another bunch of bees so all been well we should get lots and lots of this which we can use to make these thatch roof um, and of course there's not just those but there's also the thatch roof tops and yada yada um, we're going to use a wood we're going to use a, a block I've not used before as well and uh, yeah I've got some ideas but let's first things first we need to plot out our area and how big it's going to be it's going to I say not going to be huge not going to be small it's middling would be the fairest way of describing it as we go forward eventually we will be getting some golems to come and do our work for us but um, right now that's outside of our reach and uh, again I, I'm still wanting to kind of mix mix my episodes between building and magic and and also the thorncraft we've still got a whole load of magic mods we haven't even touched yet we haven't started on blood magic uh, we haven't started on astral mainly because I'm doing astral elsewhere and I don't really want to do the same mods at the same time uh, you know kind of makes sense to me anyway um, so the first thing first things first is we'll be, we get some space sorted and then we can plan this out and basically the back wall is going to be here on this thing here so we're going to go three either side so that's going to be our walkway uh, and then we're going to have one, two, well, I'll do it this way, one, that's going to be the fence, and then you have one, two, three, four, and that's the back wall. So one, two, three, four, back wall. And that's right, that should be, let's just check that out, three, five, four, one more. And then from here, that's the wall. There's going to be one, two, three, and space. One, two, three, and space. Space, and so on. Till we've got eight down either side. So let me plan that out a little bit better. Get a few blocks down just to start the edges. I might actually use some of this iron wood. I was going to use the great wood for the, the logs because they are fairly common. But this is also... Uh, fairly common log 
So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll take you some of this because it's it's got a nice texture to it. Well, I think it has anyway. And after all, I'm the one building this, so yeah. Um, okay, be back in a bit. All right, I've got a very, 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 very basic structure going. And we need now to start thinking about the roof. Uh, I'm going to do the roof before I do the walls. Um, no particular reason. Uh, it's just sometimes it's easier to get a feel for what the, what kind of, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent certain what I want in the way of walls. Um, so to that effect if you're not sure exactly what you want to do with the walls get the roof on because I know exactly what I want to do with the roof I know exactly what oh damn you intriguing okay uh, it hasn't popped off I'll uh, I'll not complain um, yeah I know exactly which blocks I want to use for the roof so we can make those get those on that will give us a feel for the the style of block we want to use for some of the walls and i just need to grab all of this because of course the the primary building material for this roof is wheat and sticks uh so yeah that's going to be a thing uh i think that's all done we must remember to be careful of that that, that particular side effects there's another 64 wheat from one harvest so that's good let's go and make some roof blocks and uh, yeah we will get on with it there's so many things I want to do with this pack that it's uh, I'm not overly I need the iron let me just uh, in fact, let me grab the all my well a stack of iron wood we'll take some great wood and we'll take some sticks and we should be good to go and make those that's a good start we'll start there and we'll see how that goes I think it's coming on night time so we may wish to sleep before we head out to yeah let's let's just go sleep I'll be back in a moment all right so this is the framework as it looks uh, there's not a huge amount to it right now but what we are going to have is this thatch block running all the way hmm do let me just try one thing oh we don't have the fancy roof we can do this tile slot ah that might actually work better let's just ch for this bit anyway let us just go for that and uh, don't like those ends that's got to be said there may be a solution to that we'll we'll investigate that one in a moment Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it will give us a more gradual slope. What have we? What else have we got within that? Let me just check the tile roll edge. Okay, we've got we've got enough to do a little bit of that, providing uh, it'll take that. It will. Right. So the these, what will you do? Okay. Uh, oh, perfect. Yes, it does work then. Well, maybe, maybe not. Oh, good. Not every time. Ah. No. How do I place this then? <laughs> this is the the one thing we often have the f fun with for this is it seems. To have the most weird 
placing rules. Out there. Hmm. Tile, edge, slab. I mean, that should just work, shouldn't it? Uh, there's no tool or... They haven't added a wrenchy thing to this, have they? Edge, slab, edge. Oh, that's yellow tile. That's your thatch. There's nothing... Nothing in there that says, look at me, I am a wrench, is the... Oh, man, this is... So you're trying to go... Don't question it, just go with it. All right, well, I think we're going to try this. Um, the only thing is I don't really like that. Oh, you know what? We're going down. We're going to go with normal. I can faff around with this all day, and I will not be happy with it. Let's go with what we know, and the world will be good and happy. So... Let me get this done. Uh, this will carry on up to... If I kind of get... Well, hang on, let me grab that. I don't want to waste anything. Uh, if I do this, then... It will give us an idea of the height that we we need to bring those up to. Uh, what, uh, two, three, uh, four, like that. And one and two and three and four. And then do that again, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe more. I don't know yet. Um right, so that will be all the way up like that. That will be all ah damn you. These are so easy to fall off. All the way up like that. And that will be the front then we're gonna take this up a little bit and continue that up the other side so hey, it works uh, after a, for a given value of works I'm not displeased with that it's going to take a fair amount of wheat however so we are going to have to come up with some means of accelerating probably accelerating the growth of the wheat because this is going to be a painful otherwise because these are going to take a fair amount of these blocks. Yeah, and then um, wood underneath. That works. That works pretty well, I think. And we can uh, we can even. No, it's not that one. It's the end pieces, which we should be able to. Do that. Ah, they are, that looks nice. I like that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. It has character. Right, let me carry on. I'll be back in a bit. All right, we're getting somewhere. Uh, how many of you forgot I could do that? Because I keep on forgetting. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it is... Apart from being slightly painful, a very useful building tool when you want to uh, do things like this. So this is the, the last of the thatch. Uh, I've put the ends on. Uh, there's no end here. Obviously that merges in. I put the, the cap on. This is the second half of the roof. This The roof is a, it's a... This is one of those barns where they have a high area for ventilation so that if you ever been in any form of conference room or whatever, any place with a lot of people if you if you play you know card tournaments like magic or anything you will know just how much heat a bunch of warm bodies in an enclosed space can generate uh, i know that sounds slightly mucky but there you go i can't help that um and the reality of a farm building, like a barn like this, is that that many sheep are going to generate a hell of a lot. Oh, I've got a fluffy puff sole. Cool. Um, 
things I probably don't need a lot more they're going to generate a hell of a lot of um, heat so what you would have is you'd have a barn with ventilation at this level to allow the heat uh, the cool air in at the low level and it would have a high up area that the all the hot air would thing and ventilate out up there and that was usually where you would store all of your dry goods as well because you know all that heat is good for something and one of those things it's good for is drying stuff so yeah, I'm happy enough with that. I'm still not 100% certain on my block choices for the walls, but, um, you know, we'll get there. But I need to go and grab more wheat, so we may be a little bit shy on that, because I've gone through all the wheat I had in storage, and obviously we're now waiting on wheat to grow, and I'm taking it as as, as and when it, it is ripe. Um, which doesn't take a vast amount of time. And, again given sufficient time we will have our golem workforce doing this for us i've just gonna stood on that i don't want to oh yes swine. step assist is great until you don't want it uh at which point it becomes a complete pain in the bum um yeah so for things like this i think future i may have to consider putting a I can't really round that centerpiece, can I? I suppose I, yeah. I suppose there are other ways to lay it out, but um, what did we get there? 55, that might be enough. So yeah, just need to build up that last bit of wall, and uh, I mean, roof, and then we can start playing with the walls and the interior. So be back in a minute. All right, I'm just putting in some finishing touches around it. Well, not finishing touches. Got the got the bays. Each colour is marked out using concrete. Uh, I've got plenty of dice. This guy's cool. With, with, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to have a display of chameleons in a prismatically rainbow-coloured thing. Cause just look at the way he just changes colour. If he moves around, he's going to be great. Um, he's going to be like a disco disco thing. Um, got three left to do. So yeah, I did iron wood framed but what i'm doing is i'm replacing this bottom row on the outside with with a block that looks like this um and there is a reason <laughs> believe it or not there is a reason i can get through there that's right good and the simple reason is that um these blocks allow grass to grow underneath them so if we oh god hang on uh if we have a chisel block here and here and here doesn't matter what the sheep eat in here there should always be grass in the uh, area to grow those blocks that's the theory whether it works plus of course these things aren't well they are, are fairly cheap they're just four iron nuggets and uh and and you know um some great wood but yeah we can do this properly so what we're going to do here is we are going to have a dab 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 like that so i can get in sheep can't get out dab 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 and uh have some lighting on the top here because at the moment obviously this is all not spawn proof and uh Need to put the walls in, need to finish off the wall things. Hello, have a lot of building left to do, but we're getting there steadily. So I shall be back in a mo. Alright, apart from getting rid of this lot out of here, um, this in, on the interior is well, more or less done, I think. We, could, we can, I mean, we can dress it up a little like that. We can even, if we wish to, well, we could actually, actually there's one we could do there which might work better but out here we've got um fences going along the top we've got the the ventilation going we've got all of this going down the side here similarly um oh hey, uh, somewhere over here here sneaky sneaky bloody creeper snorked up on me and took me full in the face bit of server lag and the thing was on me and exploded before I could even react. It was uh, entertaining, shall we say. One, two, three, and there. 
uh, and then one, two, three, and probably there if I'm right, and then we can just whack those back in. They're not, no, strictly speaking, necessary to be put in there, because they're obviously going to form up like that, but, you know, that's not a major problem. Um, we shall bring you... Um, recipe for that is fence and sticks. I've got a huge amount of fence, so that's my main restriction. So let me go and get some of that. Get me some sticks. Get me some of that. There we go. Don't think 46 is enough, actually. I may need more. What do we think? Oh, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a keeper. I'll uh, I'll definitely put that in. I need to clear this out anyway, to clear out that chest to do a little bit of uh, to-in and fro-in, but I think that's a level of detail that, that we need. It takes about 31 blocks, slightly under, I think, to do this length. I think it's 31 include the wall, so that would be, what, 29? Oh, yeah, I like that. I mean, from here, it's, it's not strictly very visible, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, let me get that done, and then the next thing is to lure a few sheep over. I'll have to remove the... Um, the warded stones in the entry as well obviously for them to get in um, I'll get them in as white sheep we'll breed them and then we'll move them around and, and you know breed get get four white sheep bring two out put two over in this one two over in this one and, and colour them as they go so that's fairly straightforward um, yeah I think fence and what was the recipe for the recipe for that is fence and sticks and the fence can be any old fence I also upgraded my um, my mining spell uh, so we should be able to use this wood here and I've got this kind of out here because I was using a lot of iron wood over there but if I shift and fire as usual it takes out three now this sorry one this is three in a shot one above, one below, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's um, handy because it means that I can then make more fence. Oh, I need a need a crafting bench. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hopefully not have to go back and uh, can I not make fence with that? Yes, I can. All right, let me get this bit done, tidied up a bit, back in a moment. All right, we had one fatality. <laughs> uh, I found loads over there, and I bred some as well. So we've got uh, quite a few in here, quite a few in here. In fact, I think there's four in here right now. A um, couple in here, a couple in here, and three in here. Well, I'm not going to dye them until I've got two in every pen. That's my uh, next... My next mission in life is to do that. Um, but I'm not going to do that this episode either. That is um, a little bit more than I wanted to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick... Yeah, I don't like this. That bit there it really doesn't look nice. Um, I might be able to do some... Uh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I'm going to go and have a quick peek at that. Then we're going to come. We're going to have another look at another psi spell. And this is again, this is not one of my own. I've, I, I don't know even if my cad will be able to cast it. It should be able to, I believe. But, but it's not guaranteed. Um. So if I, oh, it's not. It's a. Uh, I need some planks of some description, and we're going to do that. Four. Eh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. I need. No, we, we're all right. We, we hang. We. I think we have it all actually. It's uh, not quite with the edge, but we'll need a little bit more edge. That's easy. We can do edge. 
that should be more than enough edge that should be enough of that so oh, let me put you away get you and alt we're going to turn you into a edge slab the same with um, those and those are going to be are they going to be top or bottom let's try that for starters whoop <laughs> wrong key let's see how we what if we could do anything just to make that that got look better let's oh it was a was that a chameleon just shot a there was something there and it It can't have been him. He wanted to fit it under the leaves. Anyway, enough about that. Let me uh let's try Have I got any blocks on me, yeah? Hup, hup. No, that's not gonna work. I suspect what we will have to do is maybe that one. That might work with that one, but not that one. That one, nope. No, nope. oh, God, we're gonna have another one of those episodes again, aren't we? Where we have struggled to place. There we go. Yeah, that will work. Um, so I'll just run across here, like Kasu. We'll place you on there. Uh, we'll place you on there, like a that. We'll figure out how to do the other side and uh, the back. Just because you know, whilst it's out of sight. Is not out of mind. Yeah, that's that gives it a certain interesting quirkiness I, I didn't have before, which I quite like. So, yeah, we just need to repeat that over on this side. Like uh, so. And also around the back. Uh, so this is this is for me more than anything else. I'm I'm not uh, I'm not good at um, leaving things unfinished. So yeah, that that just does that does the right thing for that. Let's head over here, get a screenshot, and then head back into the sci area. And uh, I like that. There we go. Damn, I had left a block floating in it. Doesn't matter, we'll live. Um, obviously, between episodes, I'll try and get some of those sheep bred and populated. And, uh, yeah. You know, apart from using this, I mean, there's very little magical in there. There's, there's only really the um, arcane gateway stuff, which, which is ideal because it means I don't have to actually put a wall on the um, a door on it which is a pain uh, doors can be a pain I should say right let us go up here and I shall just prepare a spell bullet and uh, if we've got one there's a spell bullet let me jump in here and control shift and delete and I'll be back in a second because when I hit delete it's going to stop my recording all right so this is uh, we're going to shift and import now this is a three by five pickaxe tunnel um, do I want the 3x5 or do I want the 3x3 three three? I think I had a 3x3 three three as well didn't I mm, maybe not uh, anyway we need to get our CAD out 16 of 20 it is going to use too much potency That's that is awkward now I need to try and work out what's what here. There's a five. If I knock that down to a three, 
Can I reduce... Will it A be a 3x3? Three three? Couldn't remember what the... Um, what the command to change my thing was. So there we go. That's my quarry spell, which is the 3 by hoofer. And we shall head up here and we are going to grab... What do we need for the side metal pick? Oh, we need a log, which I haven't got with me. Uh, and a piece of gold, which I have. Uh, I'm going to guess that there isn't a log in there. But I think I cleaned that out. Damn it. Um, yim, 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 yim. Need a log. I haven't got a log. <laughs> now, if this works, I think this will be a really, really nice spell. Just because, you know, I do. Um, in fact, we should be able to craft that here. That will give us our Psy Metal Pick, which doesn't use... It's got no durability. Um, and if we add that to that... 3x3 three three pickaxe, right... I'm going to sleep, we're going to head over to the mine, and I shall join you there where we'll give this a test. Alright, we're here, now this is the easiest way to go 3x3. Three three. Ooh, that did not work. I mean, it did, it's that one's, it did 3x... <laughs> okay, right, I need to work on, uh, I need to work on that, because of course that is definitely not playing. But um, I'll get that done. Um, there are three by three spells galore everywhere, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna not gonna worry about that right now. Anyway, on that note, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye for now.